Hey, how's it going you guys? I'm Landon for you guys who are new here. How's it going? And welcome back to another most amazing top 10 video. Alright, so because of you guys have demanded this so much, this right here is a part two. The first one is super fun to make. You guys can check it out by clicking right over here. So this is the top 10 best photo bombs. If you guys want a part three in the comment section below, put hashtag make part three now. And let me ask you guys, what celebrity would you guys want to be photo bombed by? Let me know in the comment section below. And also, if you guys want to check out my Instagram, Instagram, you guys can look right over here, see if I photobomb people or if people photobomb me. But I recently came from VidCon, so I've pictured with a lot of big YouTubers on here like Markiplier, The Hodge Twins, ASAP Science, Matt Santoro, Epic Meal Time, a lot of people. Go check it out at Landon Productions. So starting us off, in at number 10, we have this picture right here. This picture was on vacation when a stingray decided that he wanted to be a part of the holiday fun. So he decided to jump right in the air with the biggest smile ever. Aren't stingrays just the cutest things ever? Well, they're cute until they sting. At number 9 we have this bad timed photo. But this woman is posing for this picture in this sort of revealing dress. Well Eric Spolstra who is the head coach of the Miami Heat well he liked what he saw because look at him on the right. He got caught checking out this girl. Let's just hope that his wife doesn't catch him because you know he could be in a little bit of trouble. But you know what this picture is one in a million. Super funny. Number 8 now we have this very scary photo bombed and I used this picture before in another video called scary things in the background and you guys will see why. Well there's a picture here but this clown decided to photobomb these young kids. This is not even funny or this is just a bad prank. I would definitely not be able to sleep at night because you know that there's a scary clown stalking you. I think it's time to like call your parents or maybe the cops. Call both. Alright number seven let's see what we have. Okay so we have these girls dressed up in a green dress and I'm thinking they were dressed as like ninja turtles or something but guess who decided to be in this picture with them? Keanu Reeves. I know he's not relevant nowadays. I mean what has he been up to after Speed the movie? But he thought it was an awesome opportunity to photobomb these pictures with six attractive ninja turtles. Imagine going out to a party one day and then all of a sudden a celebrity just comes in and just like, woo, it just photobombs your picture. That would be sick. All right, things are about to get cute at number six. Here's a scuba diver being photobombed by this seal. I'm not sure what's cuter, that stingray or this seal. So I'm thinking for sure this is a better animal to get photobombed by. But imagine a shark. Okay, no. Or imagine a lion. Well, in at number five, we have this picture right here. This this should be a person's worst nightmare. And whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before we talk about the lion who's preying on this woman, is she about to take a picture of her private parts? What is she up to? She's got like one hand down there and the other one on the camera. And I wonder like, where's this picture gonna go? Is this gonna be your Tinder profile or something? Okay, let's get back to the lion. Run, woman, run. Run like Forrest Gump or faster. Run like Usain Bolt, win a world record. And I'm not even sure, it's a little bit sad, but I'm not sure if this woman survived after this picture was successfully taken. Number four because, oh, that was the scary one. Now this is a photo bomb to remember for the rest of your life. Check this out. This is a girl who's a huge fan of Beyonce. Well, she was at her concert in front of Beyonce and Beyonce decided to photo bomb her in the picture. I mean, this is super epic. This is Beyonce. This is such a perfect picture. And I'm not even sure if that girl is freaking out. I wouldn't have a smile. I would just be like, like just a scary face or something. Number three, we have the sea lion photobombing penguins. <laughs> what? So I guess it's not just people being photobombed by people or animals photobombing people. It's animals photobombing animals. This one is actually very funny. And to be honest, I'm not 100% sure if this is a real picture. So I couldn't put this in at number one. This is why it's number three. This sea lion looks to be so damn happy to be photobombing. All right, number two, we have another celebrity. Yes, now this is a celebrity that I so badly want to meet. Growing up, my favorite actor, Nicolas Cage. And he just photobombed someone where it seems to be a grocery store or a liquor store. He's like going to a party, buying some drinks. Now this picture is a little bit weird because why does Nicolas Cage have two pairs of glasses? Well, I think they're sunglasses that are like attached to him. I'm, I'm not sure. And also, if you look at the woman, she also has two pairs of sunglasses. What's going on? This is conspiracy. Okay, finally, number one. I've saved the best for last, I think. We have this fish who photobombed this person scuba diving in the background. This is such a perfectly timed photo. One in a million for sure. It looks like the person has a fish head. What if I had like a shark head? I think that'd be sick. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know if you want a part three in the comment section below and I'll for sure to make it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and it's time to do that thing I always do. So if you guys ever wonder, why does Landon do that ending thing? I've been doing it for like six or seven years on my other channel, Landon Production, and it was because I did this whole thing by myself. There was no green screen, there was no camera crew, and I reached for the record button, and I was like, 
hey, that's a that's a kind of cool closeout. So I'm just gonna close that out and put a little craft screen because back then I movie maker that was like it was so easy to import that I don't know and I just never changed should I change that well thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys haven't already subscribed click subscribe down below we're almost at 1.5 million subscribers and we're growing fast every single day because of you guys I'm probably gonna go make part three because you guys want it so I'll see you guys there bye